This morning in the backyard barbecue. That's right, we're cooking outside on this summer day with Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue That's N. That's me. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, well, we have a lot of whole fish. We have whole fish. In front of yes. us. What yeah. type of fish is this? This is scup. Rhode okay. Island scup. Yep, so, you know, it's, it's, it's everywhere in our waters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, it's so delicious. It's a little lesser known. Right. And to, to clean it, I kind of took the scales off, scored it, trimmed some of the fins, yep. and we're going to make a stuffing. So the goal of today ah. is to show everyone how to cook a whole fish, not to be afraid of it. It's really, really simple. Okay. How to dress it and what to do with it. So for starters, on the grill, I've got this applewood bacon rendering down. Right. Okay. So that needs a little prep work. That's got to get started. Like yeah, mm -hmm. that's got to get started. That's so why it smells so good. It's out so here. good. So <laughs> bacon, and I put in a little bit of butter just mm -hmm. to like give it a bit of a brown butter um, feel. Okay. And, and what will what else will everything um, that's our going in there is, is, is right here. So I'm going to make a sourdough bacon stuffing, and then we're going to stuff the mm. fish. We're going to cook it on a cedar board. We're going to base it with some house-made brown sugar barbecue, and then whip Ooh. together like this parsley and shallot vinaigrette at the end just to top it with. That's so, really so many good. great flavors. So, the onions, the leeks, the celery, the corn are mm -hmm. all part of the stuffing. Corn, great in season right, right now. now. Yeah, right the, now. this is the time. It's the best time. All of these ingredients, these are garlic scapes. These are totally in season now. We're going to chop them up and put them right on top. These are just fun. They're fun. These are curly cues. They're fun. There's something <laughs> that you don't see every day. Garlic is like this long process. Like yeah. the bulb, then it's the green garlic, then it's scapes. So, there's so much that goes yeah. into it. Um, leeks, local leeks, everything, everything that we're cooking with here is in season right now. Yeah. Yes. Totally and I noticed accessible. you're already kind of get, getting to it because the bacon is going to yeah. cool a bit before yeah, exactly, we deal Exactly, exactly. Okay. So, yeah, stuffing, especially when you're filling a fish, you want the stuffing to be cool. So mm -hmm. I kind of had to jump the gun as That's far as okay. what we're producing today. So um, what's going to happen is all of those great ingredients are going to sort of saute together. I'm mm -hmm. going to put in a corn. I'm going to put in the sourdough, a little bit of broth to kind of bring mm -hmm. it all together, cool it, and we're going to fill the fish, pop it on the cedar board, pop it on the grill. It's like... All of this. Oh, all those flavors all those will get soaked into that fish. Wait see how great this looks at the end. It's going to be wait. absolutely amazing. You just take care of that bacon for me, I'm okay? I'm I will not let anything go wrong with your bacon. You've been saying it all morning how good it smells. And it does. It does smell it's really bacon. good. It's bacon. We'll keep cooking in just a bit. <laughs> well, if you have never grilled an entire fish, what are you waiting Today's for? Today's the day. Maybe this recipe is what, you what you've for? been waiting for. Scup <clears throat> is what we're cooking with. You can find it. It's plentiful in Rhode Island waters, as Nick Raybar from Avenue N was telling us. And yeah, you shouldn't be afraid to no. go for it and, and grill it up yourself. It's something different that you don't see every single day. Mm -hmm. It's not a burger. It's not a dog. It's not a chicken breast. This yeah. is a scup. Okay, but instead of just taking the scup and putting it on the grill, which can actually be mildly frustrating okay. because skin can stick even if you uh. oil it and things can char up and it might not go exactly according to plan. My recommendation is to cook it right on the board, right on the cedar board. And you can get these a lot. I've known it. Totally. salmon a lot of times they'll cook it on, time, on the board. Big time, but scup actually holds smoke very, very well. So mm. it's a super mild fish. It's not like a, like a salmon, which is, I would say, pretty in your face type of fish. Yeah. And it needs the smoke and it holds up well and you see smoke salmon and everywhere, hot smoke, cold smoke. This fish actually works very, very well. So okay. to add a little bit of smoke to the inside also, we're going to put some of that bacon that everyone has been smelling all morning long. But okay? it wasn't just bacon. You yeah, plenty of other right. ingredients in yep. there. So I put corn, I put leeks, I put onions, I put celery, I put uh, sourdough, mm -hmm. a little bit of broth, some butter, okay? And we're just going to fill it in that, there. Yeah, fill that up nice. And that's going to add so much flavor. And then what we're going to do is put a little oil, okay? And a little salt. Yep. And a oh, little pepper. Season them up. Yep. So we're gonna season that fish up on yeah, the outside. The yep. Season it up, and then it's gonna go right on the grill. So literally the board right on the grill. Okay. Do you have to soak that board yes. before? Yes. Soak the okay. board. Soak the board. So you can see he's got a buddy in here already. And what sort of happened is the fish is now like basically fully cooked. Yeah. So you're cooking it right on that cedar board. And you can smell that that smoke. It so that goes perfect so with the sourdough and everything is caramelizing. I basted mm -hmm. it slightly with a little bit of um, house-made brown sugar barbecue sauce also. Great. And what's going to happen is this will sit and finish up over the next five, ten minutes cool. and the sugars from the uh, barbecue sauce are going to totally caramelize. Mm -hmm. Hit it with a light parsley vinaigrette, a garlic little shallot, yeah. a little lime. And we'll finish that vinaigrette uh, in our last segment and show you the finished product. So stick around.
Returning to the backyard barbecue with our good friend, the one, the only, Mr. Nick Raybar from Avenue N and the Pantry. Hello, sir. I am so flattered to be here today. We love having you. I'm so you. flattered by the introduction, and I'm loving the way that this scup is turning out. Uh, well, talk to us about that. Yes. You know, you've been alluding to uh, earlier in the show how what scup really is all about, because yeah. it may not be familiar or no. on many people's radars. But you can get it. Yeah. You know, you can get it. You can find it. I'm sure Dave's Marketplace sells it, Whole Foods from time to time. Go down to the docks. It's everywhere in Point Judith. It's a fabulous, fabulous local fish, and it goes so well with everything that we put together. So yeah. the first thing we did was we made the bacon sourdough stuffing. Oh, we could smell it. Oh, it's I fantastic. Know. I know it's been driving people nuts all morning. <laughs> so that had the corn, the leeks, the celery, the onions, mm -hmm. um, the sourdough, the bacon, a little bit of butter, a little bit of broth, stuffed it inside the scup, put it on a cedar board. Right. Okay. So cedar board burns a little bit, adds a little bit of smoke to the fish as well. So you've had a lot of complexity in there. Base it with a gentle barbecue. And now we're just going to toss together this quick little parsley vinaigrette. Okay? You know what so, I like to call what you do from time to time when you're working all of these flavors around? It's like a culinary well, amalgamation. Yes, it is a bit of an amalgamation. It really, it really is. I can't think of a better word myself <laughs> we're gonna amalgamate this human thesaurus i know no look at this so fresh lime fresh lime okay citrus goes so well mm -hmm. with seafood and it just adds that little bit of something that's to right. take, take it to the next level that's right yeah see that's right because you can just do this you can just put the fish on the board call it a day right. it's going to be fabulous but i like to add a lot not always sometimes a dish is about being simple mm -hmm. other times it's about adding in all of these great sort of like layer flavors here like look at this vinaigrette it's so light it's so light it's so herbaceous it's just tons of parsley tons of shallot garlic we'll put in a little bit of olive oil awesome okay i can sense the aroma already well it's that's fantastic what, that's what fish you know this this is what see wills away the kids will play <laughs> you see we i know this this whole scup's not up his alley but it's definitely up a lot of people's when it comes to grilling on the barbecue and cedar wood is such a great thing so let's check this out oh look at see, this See, the board is sort of caught there and uh got nice and charred nice and charred i was just gonna say yep it adds a ton of flavor you can see even the sourdough start to char so let's mm -hmm. get this fish off nice and safely mm -hmm. and let's put it over here on these charred scapes remember those scapes we were playing with in the beginning of the show i sure do so i charred those up right i charred those up and i put them right on there and now we've got this olive oil and this parsley and all of these intense flavors, like a chimichurri almost. Right, and the presentation really takes it to the next level as well. If something is pleasant, you know, vibrant to look at, it just really makes it an extra treat. I totally it? agree. And you can see the scup's almost like, I don't want to say brown, but it's like the way it chars up. So adding these beautiful little color pops, little fresh lemon, right? We'll just leave that aside. I'm staring at it on the monitor because I want to experience what the viewers at home yeah. are experiencing. Well, that's gorgeous. That's what they're experiencing. They're experiencing the ability to just sort of take something like a scup. And like in the beginning of the show, it might be like, what scup? Not right. what's up, what scup? Like, what is scup? Exactly. And now we know how deep the rabbit hole of scup goes here because we not just, we didn't just stuff it or cook it on a plank, mm -hmm. but we added vinaigrettes and we basted it with barbecue and we added fresh citrus. And anytime and we, can, this great we can source locally and support those that you are doing to. things locally, it's next level. You have to, we, we do that, you know, everything here is local, mm -hmm. you know, and that's just, that's always been the way at Avenue N and it's, it's the Rhode Island community way. I even made a little bonus perk over here of some corn chowder. But wait, just there's a, more. Oh, wait, there's more. So I made this little corn chowder. So, you know, corn soup, corn chowder, just absolutely perfect. So you got fish, you know, you make this right on your side burner. Everything was made on the grill. Right. You know, we made the chowder on the grill. We made the, um, you know, I just, you can put it right literally in the grill. And when you put it in the grill, it adds a little bit of like smoke flavor to it also. I'm just we, realizing I'm sans spoon. No, you I'm going to have to wait until after the show no, to try this we're gonna out. Wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to make you earn this one. Buddy, okay. All right? I love no how, I, today. how I've done the apron and just done nothing. No, you don't need to do anything. <laughs> Everything's under control out here. Well, it's a summer start, it's baby. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Put Thank it up brother. here, my man. Yeah, right man. there. Always, this is the guy always, right always. here, our good friend Nick Raybar. If you'd like to get the recipe, learn all about what he's up to at Avenue N in the pantry. Nobody beats him. I'm telling you. He's doing great stuff. Get all the info at roadshow.com. Com.